I've been involved in the strategic planning of the use of ICT in Ballyclare High School for over 20 years now. And absolutely at the heart of that process is the belief that technology must serve us, uh, that teaching and learning comes first. And we always ask that critical question of whether or not the technology really benefits the child in the way that they learn. We are part of Ballyclare High School. We're a school that specialises in ICT. Uh, the purpose of the Blitz Day is a time when we have brought you all together as a, as a group of Year 8 pupils. Uh, we've taken you out of your normal classrooms. This is the Learning Centre. ICT is a crucial part of what goes on at Ballyclare High School. Ballyclare High is one of only four ICT specialist schools in Northern Ireland. The River Band is the longest in Northern Ireland, which is the following statement. The school recently won Best Whole School in the Back to ICT Excellence Awards and was recognised with the National Training Award not only for Northern Ireland but for the whole of the United Kingdom. I'm in charge of the ET strategy group within school and, and that's a group of individuals including the principal, senior management team who meet twice a month um, and during those meetings what we try to do is devise new ideas, look at new technology, um, implement it within the school. Uh, projects we've been doing lately have been the introduction of our new VLE uh, fronter, uh, we've brought in a new handheld device pilot uh, with our literacy, numeracy, special education and needs pupils and uh, the ET strategy group has been really successful in um, applying for different awards and really pushing up the standards of learning within our pupils in Ballyclare High School. Our leadership team has established a strong vision and very clear strategy for our use of technology and it places pedagogy at the centre of our, our work. Our school development plan targets for e-learning are based on sound evaluative processes and our departmental development plans resonate with those so that all stakeholders have a very clear vision for our, and appreciation of what we're trying to do. We have a wealth of initiatives using technology as a driver for learning, not only within our academic curriculum, but driving up success across our pastoral realms as well as our extracurricular programmes. What is this symbol? And be specific, okay? My teacher sends me a question and then you can type your answer. Forest. You can use your phone, your iPod or any other handheld device. That is cool because it just pops up on your screen and then you can answer it and then once you've sent your answer it comes up on the interactive whiteboard. We've been using off timetable days for quite a few years now and they're an established part of practice. One of the reasons why they can be so successful here is because of the resources we've got. Uh, around the learning centre we have 90 machines and 65 of those can be individually booked so we can cater for small groups, classes, or even entire year groups. In short, the Blitz days provide us an opportunity to work collaboratively between departments and also provide a vehicle to help learning throughout the entire curriculum. Having been selected as only one of five schools in the UK to participate in the ChildNet Digital Leader Programme, our pupils have had the opportunity to develop their leadership skills whilst becoming considerate and responsible users of social media and emergent technologies. One way in which we try to embed the practice of ICT in the everyday experience of the child in Ballyclare High School um, is a practice that we began just over a year ago by providing a Kindle for every child in first year. And one simple statistic that illustrates the success of the project is that in 2014, over 98 million words were read by our 180 children in year eight but in 2015 that had risen to over 140 million. So we think that's good evidence to support the success of what we're doing. In MIA we would use ICT programs to edit on software such as Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas 
And then also for creating uh, special effects, we'd use software such as Motion or After Effects. Uh, working with our digital SLRs, our cameras, basically uh, using them to get clips onto the computer and also just watching clips on the computer to revise from is another important use of ICT in our classes. Uh, one of the problems we have here in Ballyclare High School due to the current financial climate uh, is that we are unable to provide sixth form with a sufficient number of computers in their study areas. Uh, and a way of helping to resolve this has been to facilitate access to the internet in these areas uh, and allow the use of handheld devices uh, such as uh, their own smartphones, uh, iPads, tablets, etc. And apart from improving access to the internet, we feel that this will help improve their study habits and also encourage independent learning. And to date, uh, it has in fact proved very successful. My daughter's year 10 in Ballyclare High School and I must say I've been really impressed with the level of ICT provision within the school. The facilities are excellent and uh, I just notice how across all curricular areas um, it's been embedded into the curriculum. But I think overall one of the, the best things about the use of IT in school is that Katie really enjoys it. She's having fun experimenting and uh, coming up with some very, very high calibre work which again is very pleasing as a parent. The Board of Governors of this school wholeheartedly endorses the strategic planning which has ensured that ICT has become strongly embedded in all that we do as a school. The emphasis within that planning has always been on meeting the learning needs of the pupils rather than being driven by the technology itself. Um, our strategic vision, which has evolved naturally out of the school development plan um, and then been formulated within the ET strategy group, it's been very successfully communicated to all those who have a role to play, to us as governors, to pupils, to parents and teachers through highly effective and regular staff training and updates. And that vision has always had pupils at its heart. All right. Over the past year, major focus of ICT development in school has been to embed the use of our VLE um, fronter to improve teaching and learning um, at a whole school level. It's proved extremely beneficial so far, both for sharing resources so that pupils have access to subject materials 24-7, but also for providing stretch and challenge opportunities in that it affords the opportunity to share advanced materials with pupils, share advanced and extra activities, and that they can access in their own time to improve independent learning. One of our key drives at Ballyclare High School is making sure that we use ICT not for the sake of it, but really to push up the teaching and learning standards within Ballyclare High School. To do that, uh, we have looked at um, loads of subjective evidence from uh, feedback from our pupils and just verbal feedback from uh, staff, but getting down into the hard facts and figures, and we have loads of data generated from uh, pupil surveys on our handheld devices where we're asking questions such as um, do you feel more engaged, do you feel more motivated as a pupil when we're using technology, um, do you feel uh, you can learn at your own pace and can we differentiate for you more, can we push you on um, or can we slow down when we're using ICT and, and all this data being generated we keep going back to look at it and evaluate in our practices and then develop on further. Mm -hmm.